the Santa Monica Mountains have proven to be a very special place. Not only is the range home to the largest urban national park in the country, with over 500 miles of trails, but it abounds with historical and cultural sites, from old movie ranches to Native American centers. More than astonishingly, most people in Los Angeles don't even know this exists, which is borderline criminal considering its proximity to LA. It includes so many gems, it's impossible to list them all. But I'll give you a little tour of a few of my favorites, and I'll start with my backyard, Topanga Canyon. Hi, I'm Wasim Maklashi, nature and travel photographer and 360 VR video producer. Living in Topanga Canyon has been nothing short of magical. These hills have been the source of my inspiration over the past almost decade. Among those that have called this charming bohemian enclave home, Woody Guthrie, Humphrey Bogart, Dennis Hopper, Jim Morrison, and Neil Young. So uh, so right now we're standing in the middle of this uh, beautiful little rock outcropping here. Um, we're on Santa Monica Conservancy land. Uh, we're basically right in between, if you look in that direction over there, that's Topanga Canyon. Um, right over that, the hillside right there that's lit up right now just beautifully by the sun. Uh, right over that is Red Rock Canyon Park. This area is actually a very crucial habitat link between uh, Malibu Creek State Park and Topanga Canyon State Park um, for all the wildlife and flora and fauna of the Santa Monica Mountains. And if, uh, if you follow me and you look up and you look around you, you're gonna see these massive red sandstone formations that look like something out of the Southwest, like Sedona or something. This here is a must when visiting Topanga State Park. This is one of the most popular hikes in the park. The seven mile out and back Parker Mesa Overlook Trail. As you meander along the ridge line, you'll pass through oak groves and meadows before reaching the overlook, where you're treated to a panoramic view that allows you to see everything from Palos Verdes through Santa Monica and all the way up to Malibu. If there are two spots to see in the Santa Monica Mountains, and Topanga is one of them, the other must is Malibu Creek State Park. For centuries, this was the center of Native American Chumash culture. While a few hours will more than certainly benefit you, this park offers so much you'll want to come back time and time again. In addition to the creek, there's hiking, camping, fishing, rock climbing, swimming, mountain biking, rivers, lakes, and streams hidden amongst idyllic hills full of oak groves and chaparral. So this here is one of the more popular parts of Malibu Creek State Park. And if you look around you, you may recognize why. If you don't get it by this bombed out truck right here, or the bombed out car over there, just turn around and look this way and look at this thing. And if you still don't get it, you need to watch more TV. No, you don't. Anyway, this is the original set for the original TV show, MASH. So if you're in the area, this is one of those spots you're gonna wanna come check out. So right now, we're on uh, Mulholland Highway. And this basically stretches all the way through the Santa Monica Mountains. It'll take you all the way from around the Woodland Hills area all the way out to, uh, it'll spit you out at Leo Carrillo Beach in, uh, in Malibu, right near Point Magoo. Pretty crazy that this exists like half an hour from downtown LA. standing in the middle of Paramount Ranch and this is a ranch that was originally leased by Paramount Pictures back in the 1920s and uh, since then it's been used for hundreds of films and TV shows. Actors like Cary Grant, Cecil DeMille, Gary Cooper, W.C. Fields, Bob Hope and Sandra Bullock shot movies and TV shows here including things like The Cisco Kid, Geronimo, Caught in the Draft, Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman and most recently episodes of Westworld. Sandstone Peak is another one of the mountain range's main attractions. 
Standing at over 3,000 feet, it is the highest point in the Santa Monica Mountains, and it can be reached through a couple of different trails, one of which is a direct route to the top, but I highly recommend opting for the Mishimakwa Trail. While it's the longer of the two, as it snakes through spectacular historically Chumash sites, you'll get a much better representation of the landscape that you are in. This is not normal to see running water in this area, in this creek, or even in this range. So, uh, this is really special. So this is it, folks. We've just bagged Sandstone Peak. You're now seeing the view from the highest point in the Santa Monica Mountains. I hope you enjoyed this little teaser of the Santa Monica Mountains, and more importantly, I hope that it inspires at least a few of you to uh, come spend some time in them, because they really are a very special place. And especially if you live in the LA area, you have no excuse. They're literally right in your backyard. And I can guarantee you that you will not regret a single second that you spend out here. With that being said, I, uh, I hope to see you on the trails.